My sister's name is Sarah, and my name is Michael, so together we are Michael Sarah. <laughs> Hey, what is up guys? It is Mike and long time no see. Remember that time I made the video? That's like, yo, new vlogs, uh, May 10th. It's May 10th and I made a video, so that's good. I was thinking about making a video about what college is like and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna do that yet because I wanna write down some stuff in my journal to say what it was like because I journal now. I, I have this red little small journal that I write all of my prolific ideas in it. For example, one of them was, um, Clapping is weird, and that's all I wrote on one of the lines. Anyway, so college was good, thanks for asking. Let's go into the story. So like I said, I've been journaling a lot recently. I started my freshman year in college, which I made that sound like it was a long time ago, when it was really just yesterday, actually. I write in my journal a lot, and I was gonna make a video about one of my previous journal entries, but something actually happened, and the title of this journal entry is The Adventures of Crazy Butt. That took precedence over everything. All right, so here's the story. Here's exactly what happened. So two weeks ago, I went up to Connecticut and I kind of had a lousy day. So I wanted to go home, but I was waiting in Connecticut because I had to pick my sister up from Italy. If anyone can do it, it's her. I know it is. Good luck. Good luck. Hey, YouTube says good luck to you too, by the way. So anyways, I had to pick up my sister from Italy and I was like, yo, I don't know what to do for six hours because she was getting picked up at eight and it was two o'clock. No, it was three o'clock. So it was five hours. And I was like, I have no idea what I'm going to do. So I went to the Fairfield Public Library. I sat there with my Mac and I had to do a paper for school so I was sitting there typing it and my eyes were water crying. I was crying. And I looked to my left. I yeah, that's I pull myself. I looked to my left and there is this guy sitting there reading the paper and whatever, no big deal, but he gets up and walks away and for some reason I glanced at his derriere and it said crazy on the butt and I was like, "Oh, that's funny that's funny so then I go back to doing my essay and the guy comes back and I'm not paying any attention to him and he sits down next to me and it still doesn't bother me and he starts doing the crossword puzzle whatever so the library closes and I'm like oh poop I don't know what to do so I'm like oh I know I'll go to a park so I get to the park and it's just me and this cop car so I park here cop car is parked over here and he's just chilling I don't know what he's doing maybe he was on a stakeout and I ruined his mission but I get my journal and I'm like I'm gonna go write my feelings out and be dramatic today so I walk over to a picnic table it's just me the cop car leaves I sit down and I start writing. I wrote like, I wrote this page. I wrote one page of things. My writing just stops and that's because something crazy happened. I hope you guys believe me. I hope you trust me enough. This is what happened. So I'm sitting there, I open up my journal, I write two things and I'm working on the third thing. And all of a sudden this guy comes up to me on his bike and he goes, hey, are you a Republican? Guy, I'm independent, I don't know. Oh, well let me tell you, this guy starts ranting off about his opinions and views on things and I'm just giving him like the nod, like the, oh, okay, yeah, no, that's cool. I, yeah, me too. And then all of a sudden cop cars come in, lights on, no sirens, but they just go, they drive up and they park on the sidewalk and they come out and they're walking and I'm like, oh shoot, who is this guy? I thought they were gonna be walking towards him, but then they start walking towards me. So now I'm like, did I? do something bad. I have no idea where they're coming. Then they come up to me and they're like, is this guy bothering you? And I was like, I don't know. He literally just got here. And that was not what the cops were expecting me to say. As I found out by what went down when we looked at each other, I was like, no, I, I don't know. They were like, that was incorrect. And then they had to go back to their cars. And then as they leave, the guy, I didn't tell my parents this because I didn't want them to freak out, but my mom watches my videos, so she's going to see this anyways. So, mm, sorry. The guy just starts going off about cops. He just starts saying all these horrible things, things I can't say because I don't even know what they meant. But all of a sudden, he has a backpack on and he spins around like this and pulls his backpack forward. And I was like, oh, wrong decision. Yep, wrong decision. But they didn't see me. So he opens his backpack, sticks his hand in it. And I'm like, this is the end. And he pulls out the Constitution of the United States of America and slams it down in front of me. My brain was like, wait, I, give me a second. He didn't stop there. He goes in his backpack pulls out another stack of papers, and it was the Constitution of Connecticut. Then he pulls out the Charter of Fairfield, and then he pulls out the Bill of Rights of United States of America and goes, read that. My brain completely left at that point. It was like, yo, I can't, I'm not going to catch up. I'll like, I'll talk to you later. And then he pulls out a little piece of paper like this big with a link on it. And he goes, watch this. And I think he could just see that like when, my, when your brain connects and it's like, oh, this is an idea. My brain was just like, oops, I don't know what happened. And he was like, it's a five hour video telling you exactly what you're reading. And it tells you what it means. And so that you can know your rights as an American citizen because they're screwing us over. I will totally watch this. I think I even pulled out my phone to like sell that I was going to watch it right now. Like I was so excited. I was like, oh my God. So then he ends his rant and he looks over and he sees my 2004 blue Camry, aka the whip and 
he says, is that your car? And I said, nope, it is not. And he was like, oh, okay. And then he rode away for a little bit and then he came back around and I was like, oh no. And he said to me, I wrote it down because I didn't want to forget it. He said, it looks like you were having a rough day. I've probably had much rougher days, but things are a lot better now. And then he was like, I have two fishing poles if you want to go to the beach and we can go fish and talk like tomorrow if you're around. And I was like, uh, no, I'm not going to be around, but thanks. So yeah, that's what the guy said. And he got on his bike and turned around and then I looked at him and on his butt said crazy in cursive and it was the same guy from the library. Anyway, so yeah, that was the first story I wanted to talk to you guys about. I'll be seeing you again on Saturday. I hope you enjoyed it. I have to go finish this cool five-hour video I found online. See ya. <laughs>